Hello everybody, I hope you're doing well out there. Oh, wait, where's my coffee? I almost forgot. Much better now. Okay, so I'm very excited to tell you this today. I've just launched my Patreon page. And for those who don't know, Patreon is a website or a page where you pay each month to get access to my solo tabs and everything I teach there. And it could be like 251 lines, etudes, solo etudes, how to play jazz guitar. And you're actually able to tell me what you want me to teach there. And then I will provide you that. So, Patreon is basically a place where I teach guitar playing and you support my work. So if you're interested in that, check the link in the description. Let's move on to today's topic. The perfect practice routine! So, today's questions are Have you ever felt that you don't have control over your own time? Have you ever wondered how it would feel for you if you would have achieved those goals you have always wanted? Have you ever thought about if there was like a right way for you to practice when you were younger? Then my friend, this video is for you. So do you really need to practice 10 hours a day? No, I disagree. That's not what I think actually. And, but why should you even trust me or listen to me? So, a quick little background check here. My name is Erik Kassasson, a 23 years old jazz guitarist from Sweden. I've been playing guitar since I was 10 years old and I actually played metal guitar until 4 years ago when I first realized that I now wanted to play jazz guitar. And then I also realized that I needed to practice a lot a lot to achieve that new skill. So, I've been struggling pretty much with what and how to practice in the best and most effective way. And then, all of a sudden, I finally did it! I found the perfect practice routine! And now, since a year back, I've also got 14 sponsorship deals, 41,700 followers on Instagram, and soon going to New York to work for D'Angelico Guitars. And I will also very soon release my first jazz EP with some crazy good musician friends. I'm looking very much forward to this release. So I have lately thought about this and I have achieved this because of my practice routine and some other stuff as well, but mostly from my practice routine and that's what we will discuss today. So how does my practice routine look like? I practice one to two hours each day, sometimes three hours, but then I always take like a break where I go up, drink some water each 20 minutes. I always have flight mode on my phone, I always put a timer on for each exercise and in these 20 minutes I'm splitting it up in, for example, five minutes groups where I go through an exercise. Let's take a little check on that. All right, so here comes example number one. Here I've put together an hour in three different blocks of 20 minutes where I take a break after each 20 minutes. And this could be like bigger arrangement over a song and so on. And here comes example number two. Here you can see I put together still in 20 minutes blocks, but I've split the block in 10 minutes. And here I usually work on like my repertoire or, you know, little smaller stuff and more focused stuff. Okay, so example number three here. Now it's getting to the start a little more interesting. Now I've split it up my 20 minutes block in five minutes blocks. So as you can see, we fit four different exercises in each block. And this is just one hour. And if we do this hour, we will nail 12 different moments that we want to practice on. So this is one of my most useful ways of practice. I usually practice like this. All right, example number four. This one is really, really interesting. I love to practice this way to nail a lot of stuff within my hour and within my day, actually. So here we have fitted 20 different exercises within our hour. One hour of practice and we will be able to practice 20 different stuff. So this is a really good way to just nail and go through a lot of different moments. It could be like small different exercises within a song and so on. So... Uh, I really recommend you to do this if you want to nail a lot of stuff and have a really good development and improvement in your playing. All right, guys, so here comes the last example today, example number five, and this is actually a mix of everything. Uh, here I put together three minutes blocks in my first 50 minutes blocks, um, the two one there, where I usually go through small exercises over a song. And then over the five minutes there, you can see I, I usually combine my exercises. And on lastly, there on the 15 minutes block, I usually just like do an improvisation over the song using the exercises that I've practiced. All right, my friend, I hope you didn't get too overwhelmed there. So this is just my approach of practice and my perfect practice routine. So take the stuff you want from me, try this out for a week, a month, you know, and I, I promise you that th this way of practice works very well for me at least. And I hope you will find 
at least something similar or something that will work for you and that you got inspired and motivated today. There's always a way for you to achieve your goals and dreams out there. It's all about these small habits and life hacks. Alright, so here come 7 things I recommend you to do. First of all, have your phone on flight mode and have short and long term goals of your playing. It could just be like posting a video on Instagram where you play your stuff that you have practiced on. And then of course drink water, stay hydrated. And then take breaks every 20 minutes, go up, get some blood in your system, you know that really helps. Uh, and always have a timer on your phone available, so you can like time each block you're practicing on. And then you need to celebrate each goal. Like sometimes if I practice something really boring, I usually play the fun stuff after it, like directly, like so I get like some candy of what I've done and worked for. And then the seventh rule here, uh, or uh, thing I recommend you is to keep this consistent. Don't give up, okay? Try this out for a week, three days minimum, uh, a month. I, I promise you, this will really help you out if you're struggling with your practice routine. And the fun thing is that you can apply this to whatever you want in life, like your education, and this actually gives you more free time. Like in my in my case, I, I'm able a little extreme. I apply this to my whole day, and I, I'm able to like do so much stuff within my day, but you know, you need to chill as well and schedule that in. And now maybe you're thinking, but Eric, what should I fill my hours with? What should I practice on? What is right? So there I got the thing for you there. Check out my Patreon. There I got a lot of exercises, a lot of stuff that works really well with my practice routine because that's how I work and I give you there exactly the stuff that I am using and the way how I work with the stuff. Like it could be triads, chords, you know, two five ones, write a solo, anything like you can feel so much stuff, so it's just like the best way of practice basically. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching today's video and I hope you have got more motivated and inspired today. So and don't forget, this is just my approach of practicing and if you have another way or maybe let me know what you think in the comments or if you have um, other advices of how you practice, you, just let me know there and we, we can talk about it there. I would love to hear how you do this because there is of course no right and wrong way. This is just like my way of practice and like my truth of practicing and this helped me so much and I wanted to share you, share you my knowledge today. So have a nice day, stay safe, all the best Eric.